raid in Coryville shuts down a counterfeit merchandise operation. Police say complaints about the items sold at the Set for Life shop on Vine Street led to the bust. Local 12's Paula Toti is here with new information on the items seized and the person facing charges. Paula. Rob, police tell me the store has been operating more than two years and they don't know if illegal goods have been sold all that time, but say at least the past few months, undercover officers have made several trips to the store. Officers executed a search warrant at the Set for Life shop on Vine Street yesterday. Police seized thousands of DVDs and CDs and say that there were CD burners in a back room that were part of the operation. They also seized counterfeit purses, watches, belts, and sunglasses with brand names like Michael Kors, Coach, Gucci, Chanel, and Louis Vuitton. 34-year-old Brian Baker faces several charges, including trademark counterfeiting and possession of criminal tools. Police took this so seriously, they brought in help for the crackdown. We flew in experts from as far as New York City. They were... Um, recording industry and motion picture industry experts that are able to verify the content of the material is in fact uh, fraudulent or forgeries and um, they're able to sign affidavits and testify in court to that fact as well as the victims of the person or persons being harmed. And police say one tough thing in these crimes can be showing a victim and that's again why the experts came in. They can represent recording artists and the like who lose money when CDs and movies are pirated. As for the knockoff purses, they apparently were sold for various prices depending on what you looked like you could afford when you walked in the place. But generally a few hundred dollars instead of the two thousand dollars that one might go for if it were real and in a department store, Robin Cammy. That would be the first clue, wouldn't it, Paula? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Police say they have actually made several arrests this year involving counterfeit goods, and they believe most buyers know something isn't quite legit at the time.